From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Yeah. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back. You're listening to the Traders Network broadcasting from Clear Channel KFXR 1190 AM Dallas Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. All right, first guest on the show today, Dr. Eugene Seymour, CEO of Nanovirus Seeds. And uh, let me tell you something, this is breakthrough technology in the medical field that this man has been doing. All right, uh, Dr. Seymour, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show. Welcome to the show. Well, thanks. And... Um so do you have some questions for me, Michael? Yes, but first, give our audience a little feel for who you are. Let's get a little feel for who you are, and then we'll get into what your company does, and then some of the achievements, the milestones that you've made over this last year, and then we can, I guess, polish it off by going into what's coming up in the future. But let's Certainly. start with you. Well, you know, I'm a physician. Um, in, I did infectious diseases for many years, been involved actually for over the last 30 years with HIV, and for the last 10 years as the CEO of this new nanomedicine uh, company. And I've worked around the world looking at various infectious diseases. Um, I did work for the United Nations AIDS program because I had developed a rapid AIDS diagnostic test and I traveled around teaching doctors how to use my test. Right, now, now I have something much more exciting, which we can talk about. Definitely. But before we get too far, there's a lot of people out there that are investors and traders. NNVC is your stock symbol, right? Right. Okay. All right. All right. Now, tell us about your company. And I'm going to sit back for just a minute because I'll pepper you with questions. But I want to hear, want everybody to hear in your words what your company does. Okay, fine. Um, Michael, this may sound like science fiction to some people, but as Nelson Mandela said, everything seems impossible until you do it. So this is a nanotechnology, a nanotechnology that we've been working on for 25 years. We've created a platform which gives us the ability to rapidly create drugs to destroy viruses in and on the body. Now, that's revolutionary. There are a number of drugs that can slow down viruses. All the HIV drugs do that. But there's never been a drug system that's comparable to penicillin. Penicillin came along 70 years ago, and it absolutely changed the game because it destroyed bacteria. We destroy viruses. And, and think of some of the things that we've all had. Um, oh, influenza. We have a wonderful drug for influenza. We're moving that one into the FDA uh, first. We have a drug for dengue, and I think your listeners in uh, Texas will be familiar with dengue because it's a, quite a nasty disease uh, affecting 400 million people around the world. It's now moved into the United States, Florida, Texas, and recently a case in New York, and it's quite endemic in Puerto Rico. Uh, there are a number of other drugs that we've uh, developed for HIV, for herpes of the eye, herpes of the genitals, and these are the ones that we're really going to focus on. Now, now wait a minute. That, that's not just any of them, because I also, I'm on your website, so I see you, you have a cure for rabies, Ebola, uh, and did you, let me back up a bit, did you say that this could eradicate the AIDS disease? Well, now wait a minute. Let me be very clear. Okay. HIV AIDS, you know, HIV is the virus. The uh, AIDS is a syndrome that comes about from the destruction of the immune system cells by the virus. So if you can destroy the virus or m most of the virus particles, you can allow the immune system to recover the T cells, and they can now start to build a defense against all these crazy diseases that the HIV positive people have and also protect the um, infected people against other new diseases to which they might um, be exposed. Now, it, it's, no one has claimed a cure, a complete cure for HIV, and we're not claiming that. 
But we found in a large series of animal studies using the same animal model that all the pharma companies use, we've been able to achieve a functional cure. That means that you have no more virus in the circulation. There is virus in what's known as the reservoir, but it is then controlled by the fact that the T cells return and they can make antibodies to deal with the last amount of, of virus that shows up. And as you remember, I mean, I'm sure you remember from high school biology, you had a, a Petri dish, you coughed in it, next day you looked at it, it was full of colonies. Right. Well, that's easy for bacteria to grow, but viruses need to grow in cells. And the way our system works is that we mimic the, the protein, there's a, a, an attachment protein on the surface of the virus and a receptor protein on the surface of the host cell, and we mimic that receptor protein in our little nanostructure, and the virus thinks that we are its host cell, and when it attaches to us, we open up, encapsulate it, and destroy it. And just for a number to throw around, the physicists have calculated there are 75 trillion of our little nanovirusides in one teaspoon of the drug. That's how small they are. So it's, um, this is a technology that mimics what's found on the surface of the host cell. And once, once you understand that, then you understand how all of our drugs work. How, because how? it takes us days to weeks to make a new drug. To, that is amazing, but let me let me jump in there for a second. How is the drug administered to to, to cause the, the the functional cures? Okay, well, for the functional cure for HIV, the way we are anticipating, and of course, all this has to be proven in human trials, is two to three days of a continued intravenous infusion of the drug, then a shot a month for three months, and hopefully you have now achieved the functional cure, which means you're going to have a normal life, you're going to have a return of your T-cells to protect you against illness, and you won't be contagious. That's the term of art, functional cure. A complete cure, oh boy, that is much more difficult because the, the virus is very shrewd and it incorporates itself into your genome, your genetic material inside of cells. But you just said that you have the ability to, through... through your your breakthrough technology to reduce or if not if i heard it right eliminate the uh, the, the spread of the disease well what we can do is eliminate the virus in the circulation we've shown that the virus that hides out in the cells that's going to be a second version of the drug okay now um, for influenza um, have you had influenza by the way michael at some time in my life, I'm sure I've had. Yes, I'm sure you have, and I'm sure uh, many of your listeners have, and it was not an enjoyable uh, process. So what happens is, once you are infected with the virus, we would then treat you if you're in the hospital. We're, we're talking initially about very sick patients. Treat you by giving you intravenous version of the drug, and what that does, by killing the virus quickly, it stop, <clears throat> excuse me, it stops the immune system from putting out something called a cytokine, C-Y-T-O-K-I-N-E, that makes you feel like dog meat. Yeah, that's what causes your temperature go up, your chills and fever, nausea and vomiting. And by stopping that, you feel better right away, and then uh, the virus should be gone pretty quickly. You know, what? As I said, we're going to be doing human trials on that, and I'll have much more information once that's happening, but let, let, Eugene, let, let, yeah. okay, let me move this forward just a little bit because sure. I have a couple other things I want to hit because we can come back and talk about a, a lot of other things, but I want to at least hit a couple more things Th quickly. The achievements la this last year and your plans for the future. Oh, what a great year it was! Um, what we uh, we w received orphan drug designation from the European Union, twenty seven countries, and from the U.S. FDA for our drug for dengue and dengue hemorrhagic fever. That was big. We started construction of our manufacturing plant, which, by the way, is a high-tech, state-of-the-art um, nanomedicine plant to create these drugs uh, to destroy viruses. And to our knowledge, 
it's the only one in the United States and possibly the world. Um, so next year, finish the plant, finish our toxicology studies, submit our paperwork to the FDA, and um, wait for permission, both here and abroad, to enter human trials. Oh, amazing. All right, we're, we're out of time. Uh, Dr. Seymour, thank you for coming on to the show. Please, before you go, please give everybody contact information so they can follow sure. up with you. And if anybody wants some more information, rather than calling, write me at Eugene, E-U-G-E-N-E, at nano, N-A-N-O, V-I-R-I-C-I, D-E-S dot com. And uh, in that way, um, I'm happy to answer uh, questions that are of a public nature. If you forget how to spell this, uh, go look up NNVC um, on uh, Google or Yahoo. All right, Dr. Seymour, thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. You're welcome there, Michael. Bye. All right, my pleasure. All right, and I, I want to send out special thanks to Monk Media and 1-800-PublicRelations.com for all their PR and marketing support. Up next, we're going to come back with Kayad Sharif, CEO, Adaptive Media. These people have breakthrough technology of their own. We'll be right back.